fourth graders, welcome back to Super Mario Sunshine and welcome to Miss Vanham and Miss Sanchez's class. Um, this is your first time joining us for Super Mario Sunshine and I am so excited to say that your teacher is so awesome that she is willing to take a leap of faith and let you guys try this even though she doesn't know much about video games. Um, what an awesome, awesome, awesome teacher to have. Um, anyways, if you're new, um, this is a Mario game that I played when I was your age and I was absolutely obsessed with it. Um, this is Isle Delfino and we are currently in Delfino Plaza. Our mission today is to go take care of that sludge there, right on the edge of the sunlight. And on today's mission, I just want you guys to take noticings of your surroundings. Observe the things that Mario's got inside of his environment. Kind of like this building right here. All right, so for today's lesson, we're gonna be showing you how to visualize the density of an object. Or in other words, the amount of particles or atoms inside of an object. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and focus around the part of the building that I want you to notice. All right, there's the purple frame. So we're gonna look at just this solid matter. Now, solid matter has tightly compacted particles because particles in a solid are cold enough that the, the atoms and the molecules are close to each other. Now, you'll notice that the density of this object is pretty high because the particles are compacted. Maybe this tree, which I know is made up of solid matter, or even some of this fruit. Once again, we're gonna put a purple frame around the fruit, and then next, we're gonna notice the particles inside of this solid piece of matter. Now, you'll notice that the particles in fruit are also solid, which means they're close together. However, I noticed that in this object, there are particles that are a little bit further away, meaning that the particles in this solid object are a little less dense than the building we just saw. Take one more look. There's very little space between the particles, and then compared to the pair, there's a little more space. Over here, you can take inspiration from science just in the observations around you. I noticed that there's water here, which is in the liquid state of matter. And there's even another example of a liquid, which is this polluted sludge over here, which is really gross. So now we're gonna focus in on an example of a liquid. So we're gonna be looking at this sludge here in the purple frame. Now, particles in a liquid are further apart, meaning that they are less dense than solid objects. Um, there's just not as many particles in a given space. So, less dense. All right, now, this thing right here that I'm shooting with water is a monster that I need to defeat, and it's got these little henchmen. I don't know, they remind me of the characters from Pac-Man. Don't, don't they remind you of that? Um, but I have to dodge them or else I lose my life. Ugh, luckily that one won't affect me. <laughs> All right, now, the piranha plant sludge, I'm gonna call it that, um, it's got a mouth that it opens in a rhythmic pattern and I need to spray it with water when it's open. If I spray it when its mouth is closed, I won't be able to deal any damage to it. There we go. Go away. No! Oh, they are so stressful. You only have a certain amount of life. Um, if you look in the top right, I've only got eight. Oh, eight lives. Ah! Okay. These buggers. Nailed him. Yes, that was so satisfying. Nice. Okay. Stay away. Back up. There we go. Oh, just gonna dodge them. They're like little sludge bombs. All right, and when the sludge goes away, it <laughs> reveals a solid lighthouse. I don't know how it's stuck in there, um, sunk in there. It looked like magic. And all I've got to do is clean that off. Maybe even clean off my friend Toad. Aw, oh, look how happy he is. Thanks, Mario. Aw, oh, you're welcome. And now I'm going to take one last observation. 
I'm gonna notice the gaseous clouds in the sky. Ah, the last physical state of matter. Um, gases are the least dense state of physical state of matter. So as you can see, the particles are really far apart. And then I'm gonna become particle art myself. All right, this is where our video game lesson ends. However, if you would like to see this episode one of Gelato Beach being completed, please go to your teacher's may do section under science. And this video is gonna be there for you to watch and to talk about in a discussion post. Thanks for joining me guys. See you next week on Monday. Bye.